Hello everyone, my name is Paige and today I'm going to be doing 10 reviews. I actually hate filming reviews because I feel like I don't, even now I can't even talk. <laughs> I feel like I can't really get out everything that I want to say about a book in under a certain amount of time, but for this I'm just going to kind of do it in the way that I do my wrap-ups at the end of each month and just kind of quickly say what I love, what I didn't like about each book, what rating I gave it, and then move on to the next one because I have so many that have just been piling up and I really just want to talk about them. The first book I'm going to be talking about is actually Actually, the second one that I read this year so as you can tell this review has been kind of waiting a really long time and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I got this very early on this year and read through it very very quickly and I really liked it. I gave it four out of five stars and really enjoyed it. I didn't like it as much as her previous book Enchantment of Ravens which I really loved but I did really enjoy this one too. There was a lot of action adventure, a little bit of romance but in the end I think it just wasn't as good of a story to me as Enchantment of Ravens was. Which I guess is kind of unfair to compare the two since they're completely different stories but at the same time the writing style was similar the world was a little bit similar too so it felt kind of right to compare them. This one came out in June though and I have to say I really did like it so if you're thinking about picking this one up do it. It's really just a fun action and adventure book. The next book I'm reviewing is Red, White, and Royal Blue and this is by Casey McQuiston. I mentioned this book earlier in one of my wrap-ups this year and I completely loved this book. It's gonna be definitely one of my top favorites of the year. It's a male-male romance book and I just loved everything about it from the royalty aspect to the son of an American president who's a female Email and I just I loved it I love hate to love romance books and it was just so much fun to read and so interesting and it tackled a bunch of different topics and I just loved it to pieces and I'm actually really surprised I haven't bought a copy yet because I don't know why I, I've been dragging my feet I guess I definitely gave that one five out of five stars so if you're thinking about picking up that one do it everyone has been talking about that book and it is totally worth the hype the next book I want to talk about is spin the dawn this is by Elizabeth Lim I gave this one four out of five stars and really enjoyed it the synopsis originally said it was project runway meets Mulan which I kind of saw but it actually was more action and adventure and fantasy inspired than I expected it to be basically in the story the main character is pretending that she's a boy so that she can go work for the emperor and his soon-to-be wife and there's just all this like political intrigue and strife and there's wars and magic and sewing and I don't know I just loved it so much it was really great. There were a couple points in the story that I thought it dragged a little bit too long so that's why I did give it four out of five stars instead of five but overall I really enjoyed it. Another one that I recently read was There's Something About Sweetie and this is by Sonia Menon. I love Sonia Menon's work so when I got an arc of this I was so excited and I just flew through this one. There's a lot going on in this book and basically it follows the story of Sweetie and her parents dealing with the fact that she is a fat girl and they really don't like that so she begins to secretly date Ashish and they just have the cutest little romance and I love it and they both come to terms with accepting who they are and really confronting their parents about their prejudices and it was just a really great story. Sonia Menon has excellent work. And I did end up giving this one 5 out of 5 stars. So if you're really looking for a cute contemporary romance, pick this one up. Another one that I read and I mentioned in a wrap up that I was really disappointed by was Just My Luck and this is by Jennifer Honeyburn. I received this in an ARC package from Fierce Reads and I was so excited to read it because it follows the story of a girl who was working in Hawaii on a vacation resort and I was like, wow, that sounds like so cool. But the story ultimately just really fell flat for me. I ended up giving this one actually 3 out of 5 stars. The story could have been a lot more developed and I just really didn't feel like I knew the characters at all and I think that has a lot to do with how short the book is. It's only about 240 pages and there was a lot more that could have been explored here. However, immediately following reading Just My Luck, I then picked up Going Off Script by Jen Wilde and I gave this one 5 out of 5 stars. I love Jen Wilde's work. I've read Queen's the Geek but I haven't yet read The Brightsiders and Going Off Script was so amazing. I love any story that's kind of set in Hollywood and surrounding like movie stars and stuff like that so this was right up my alley. This is also a really interesting story where the main character is interning at a TV show and she submits a script for consideration and the head writer then takes her script and changes everything about it. But the biggest point that he changes is the lesbian character that she wrote he writes her as a straight character. Bex herself is a lesbian and her and her crush and a gang of other really eccentric characters go on an adventure to fix the script and save the show. I flew through this literally in like maybe less than three hours. It was amazing. Again immediately following going off script I then read Again But Better and this is by Christine Riccio. I might be saying that last name wrong. As most people know, Christine is pulling banana books here on YouTube 
and I really didn't like this book. I gave it two out of five stars and the only reason why I didn't give it one out of five stars was because it was just so easy to really pick apart and critique. I thought the writing was really bad. I thought the story was kind of dull. I had really high expectations for this and they just ultimately fell really flat for me. The characters didn't feel real. The conversations felt really stilted and awkward and fake and I just really didn't like how the character's parents were treating her and then the epilogue was just kind of wild and didn't really fit in with the rest of the story. I also didn't appreciate that the diversity in this felt really forced and was just kind of shoved in there when was convenient. Another one I read recently was This Time Will Be Different and this is by Misa Su Sugir Sugiara. Sugiara? Every time I say that, I say it wrong, I think. I loved this book. I gave it five out of five stars. Again, another one that I completely flew through and just really enjoyed. This one is a book that actually does diversity really well and tackles a lot of different racial and sociological issues that are very, very prevalent for today's society. I really enjoyed the writing. It was just so easy to follow along with the story. The characters felt real. Their conversations felt real. They were messy and flawed and I really like that in my characters. Nobody was perfect and there were just a ton of really excellent conversations that went on in this. I also really appreciated the Asian American and LGBTQ representation in this so if you're looking for something like that definitely pick this up. Another one that I really recently read and loved was If I'm Being Honest and this is by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegman Broca. I absolutely adore this story. Again another one that I totally flew through, gave it five out of five stars and completely loved. If you're looking for a contemporary romance definitely pick this up. Basically the main character is trying to overcome her own schools and cliques stereotypes and what people think of her by becoming this nicer person and I don't know I just it sounds kind of silly but it actually was a lot deeper than I thought it would be and I loved everything about it. I also just love schools and stories that are set in LA and are private schools and have like a ton of like bitchy side characters so this was perfect for me too. And then the last one that I recently reread was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I was looking at my original reread of this because this is the second or third or maybe fifth time I reread this because as most of you know in my undergrad I did my thesis on A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury. This was before A Court of Wings and Ruin had come out and I basically analyzed those two books and tried to see if in their fairy tale retellings if the characters had become more feminist or not. I wrote this really long 60 page thesis on it and it was really difficult and also just an amazing and fun project to do but just rereading the story based on the plot and characters themselves I still think this one falls really short. I think A Court of Mist and Fury which I'm currently rereading now is much better but I don't know there's just something about Sarah J Maas's writing that always has me kind of stopping like literally stopping because she has so many dashes and periods. That being said, I did fly through this. I enjoy the story just for being as trashy and terrible as it is. I think we all have those books that we love to hate, so this is going to be that one for me. And also look at all my tabs. I love them. I love my tabs. Anyway, those are all the books that I read recently and have not had time to film separate reviews for, so I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and dirty review video. If you really like videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking for new ways to try to film things differently or just leave any other suggestions below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. The but nah, is was